I wanted to do a quick video on making petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls. Oftentimes when we're having internet conversations with a group of people on a variety of topics, we assume a certain level of knowledge as we enter those discussions. And that's not always the case. I mean, we've got people that have never done things. Um, you know, I, I got my interest in knife making on the internet and I had no clue what people were talking about when uh, I was listening to the conversations or reading the conversations. And some people might feel embarrassed to ask, but we've got to remember we all started sometime and someplace. Some of us have just been doing it longer. That's all there is to it. So something as simple as petroleum jelly cotton balls. Uh, I just wanted to show one way to make it. There's several ways to make it. Start out with uh, just cotton balls. Make sure you use 100% cotton. Stick them in the petroleum jelly or the Vaseline. Get them lubed up pretty good and then just work it in with your fingers. If you get it too wet or too much in there, and this is why I don't like melting it and dipping them, but you can soak it through and through. They'll still work as a fire starter, but if you're going to use it with a, a sparking device or a, a fire steel or a flint and steel, then you need some dry cotton to actually catch that spark. And let me show you that. And you just dig into the center of it, pull out a little, fluff it out, and I just happen to be using a, um, a blast match. It's a one-handed fire starter. And you can see that it works pretty well. Now with the petroleum jelly on there, it's going to burn a lot longer than just a cotton ball would. That second one I lit, <clears throat> you can see it's burning up pretty quick. So the petroleum jelly soaked cotton ball is going to give you the opportunity to maybe catch some wet tinder or um, uh, going if you don't have ideal conditions and you don't have a natural tinder available. Um, this will certainly give you the opportunity to get something going with that. Now, if you've got one, that's for using something to catch a spark, like a fire steel or a flint and steel, as I said. But don't be afraid to use a lighter. There's nothing wrong with using lighters. Uh, they work just fine. They're inexpensive. As long as they've got fluid in it, they're working. And even when they run out of fluid, guess what? You've got a flint and a steel. You can still make some sparks. So here's one that's pretty well soaked that would be difficult to catch with the uh, blast match. Probably could. But without the blast match, lights up pretty easily just with a lighter. Now, will it stay lit? Yeah, it looks like it will. It is clouding up here. And uh, we might be in for a little rain. So, getting a little breeze here out. Something else that you can do with your, and I'll, use, I'll just use this one. It's a little hot, but I'll use it anyway. Um, in addition to storing them in here, one of the things I like to do is wrap them up in a piece of tin foil. I usually will stick two in a little bit bigger piece of tin foil than this, and you just fold it up in there. And yes, that is still hot, but it stores. You can just throw a few of these in a kit or in a bag, however you want to do it. And when it's time to use it, you can unfold it and light it, or you can use it as a candle. And just take a knife, make a small slit in there, and reach in and grab yourself a wick. Grab a little bit of that petroleum soaked cotton. Pull it out. And if you've got a Leatherman or something on your belt, that makes it nice and easy. And now you've got a candle whole thing doesn't burn and if you've got that Leatherman tool as it burns down you can pull out a little more pull out a little more 
with two cotton balls in there I can get about 15 minutes uh, of flame out of that as you pull the wick out pull the wick out so it's a handy little tool and then you can put it out and you can just put it away you can just seal that back up and still use it so that's a quick tutorial on one way to make petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls I hope it's helpful for those that haven't made them before and take some of the mystery out of it. Thanks for watching.